And maybe Sharon Stone moves in. Ooh, all the guys who still can sexually perform are excited. Hi, I'm Andy Kindler, and I'm going to show you now the pitch for the greatest TV show that has never been made, and it's called Aging Jews. I know you're in just by the title, but there's more. Hollywood loves aging. When you turn 50 in Hollywood, they're banging down your door because they think, you know, maybe you're dead and they want to move someone younger in. My age demographic is so popular. They want to see old. They want to see secretions coming out of older people's skin. Here's the idea of the show. It stars me. I'm the head aging Jew, and it'll be about 10 cast members all between the ages of 55 to 80. We're going for the murder she wrote demo. It's like uh, when Coppola did The Godfather, I want real Jews. They don't have to be Jewish, but they absolutely have to look Jewish. All we do is we sit around and we complain. All the people, their best days are behind them. They had dreams that they may have had when they were younger. Now those dreams have been dashed. And this is the exciting part. What do people look like as they're heading towards their final demise. Every week, there will be a cliffhanger in the show. Will Saul get his cataracts removed? Will Sylvia's knee replacement work out? And what about Ed? Has anyone seen him in the last 48 hours? We might have to conduct a search. Dementia, it's big now. People love jokes about dementia. Aging Jews. There's a lot of, what did you say? That kind of thing. One guy could be famous for not hearing correctly. So you say something like, let's go to the beach. He goes, I should shove my head with a peach. People will love it. And so every week there'll be a guest. We'll have guest cast. We'll have Tom Selleck come on. Maybe he can promote his uh, reverse mortgage. Maybe Sharon Stone moves in. Ooh, all the guys who still can sexually perform are excited prank type stuff. Someone takes the other person's medication and Eddie takes Sally's experimental nerve degeneration drug that has only been tried out with insects. Hilarious. The fun begins. Things don't get crazy in this show, but they do get annoying. Nothing good happens. Nobody learns anything. It's kind of like Seinfeld. There's no lessons. You don't learn anything, but it's more depressing. Everyone knows they're going to die. I want to have a show that showcases that. When you go on a pitch, people say, where do you see these characters in five years? Mostly dead. You're going to have people who are going to have pools, betting pools. Who's going to kick? the bucket this week. We could even have a, uh, you know, interactive vote now on who you think will die. They go low, you go lower, mood-wise. That's what you want. So that's it. That's the show, Aging Jews. And I've pitched it everywhere. I wish someone had told me that the Travel Channel went haunted. And I'm going to tell you how to sell a show. One thing that gets a show sold is if you could speak the language of television. We're not viewers, we're eyeballs. You, you say, look, this show is gonna get us more eyeballs. They're always talking about raising the stakes. You go in and pitch something, they go, can you raise the stakes? I actually pitched a show where chefs competed by cooking steaks on a raised platform. I literally raised the stakes. When all else fails, you pitch the idea being in space. Years ago, Eddie Murphy had an idea about a bartender, and uh, it was called Pluto Nash. He couldn't sell it. He said, could the bar be in space? It was a big hit, Pluto Nash. Slip in a show business joke when I'm at a meeting. Like I'll say, here's my advice for people getting into show business. Take the high road, no traffic. <laughs> now they're laughing in the room. Now they may want to buy something. I pitched a show once called Exposition Boulevard. Hi, Mom. I know that you're divorced from Dad and we haven't talked in six weeks and you're also having a problem emotionally. How are you? Paint the picture of the show. I'm going to tell you a little secret about Hollywood that no one will tell you. If you want to really sell a show, you have to have one of the following three elements in it. Somebody moves in. Somebody moves out. Somebody inherits a zoo. This is the lifeblood of Hollywood. And what's the moral that you can take away from all this? You're never too old in Hollywood to be humiliated or rejected. So don't give up and don't retire because you can't afford to. You may be working till you're 90.